Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to Starman Talk the Talks. I'm your host, Stefan. With me is Billy and David. Woo! Greetings to everyone. And guys, it's update make. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on in everyone's lives for November? <laughs> so, we just got off the Halloween train. <laughs> Uh, at the time of recording, it's actually November 3rd, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm started yet, yeah, but I'm hoping this weekend we'll get to finish the second half of the new season of Dark Side of the Ring. Okay. Because it's there's been a few episodes of, I've wanted to watch, so... Almost the first and last episode of this half. Fair enough. One about the first episode was about the plane ride from hell, which, because of one of the wrestlers' comments, Fenning with Flair got him fired from one of the companies. <laughs> <laughs> and the last episode was supposed to be on the steroid truck trial. Okay. So I was like, it's like Vince McMahon versus the U.S. government. I'm like, oh boy, that's gonna be a good one. <laughs> yeah, well, have to let us know how that is. Yeah. Of course, it's against the government. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, steroids are kind of legal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I meant more like, you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, good job giving everyone steroids, big <laughs> fan. <laughs> Next. Uh, you go first. Okay. So, I'm going to try and finish Chapter 2 of Delta Ruin. Okay. Oh, it's good. I came out during October, I believe. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, too much on my plate, I can't really play it. <laughs> yeah. I made sure that my save file ported over proper. Yeah, I know, that's what I was trying to think. Yeah. Also, um, there are several games just in the backlog that I'm like, I really want to sit down and play these. <laughs> I'm also going to try and get through with the Evil 3 run again. <laughs> Let's get that back up and running. Alright. Um, that, not too much else. <laughs> Damn. Alright. <laughs> yeah, not much regards to me, just, you know, survive. Survive? Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, the actual things. I am thinking of getting, thinking of getting the new venture right game. You read? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm only considering it because the demo drops. Yep. I haven't played it yet, but... <laughs> Curry says it's good. Um, you have to do, like, the controls from Returns, though. Uh, it wasn't so much the controls in Returns that was bothering me, it was more, uh, just some cheese areas, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe it has tedious fights, but it's, every Metro game has those tedious areas. <laughs> Sorry, this seemed like Samus Returns at the worst of them. Yeah, no, because it was a remake of the Game Boy one. Yeah. Yeah, um, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, the Digger robot thing you actually had to fight, and yeah. that thing was a trial. Yeah, there's a few sections where you're going to have to run away from the monster and you can't fight it. No, I mean, when you actually have to fight it. Oh, the actual fight for that thing was atrocious. Yeah. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, I don't think there's anything like that complex. Alright, or like, with the final boss of Samus Return, you had to get into the thing's mouth and blow it up from the inside. Yeah. No, I, I don't was believe so. But. Okay, that's just like... It didn't really give any hints for that, that's all. Yeah. I thought, like, oh, shoot missiles in there like usual. Nope, go in there, bomb it's harder, or whatever. Yeah. Yay. It actually kind of did in the lore, but uh, the lore is easily skippable on that. It is. Especially the Mo Queen Metro was impervious damage hits on the outside. That's all. Yeah, and then when it eats you, it's like, oh wait, I can drop power bombs, the thing that they never eat me, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's, there's more like that. Yeah. The melees were also not as fun, but... No, I never really got into the melee of that. I don't know, maybe it was a small screw. I don't know. 
things. Uh, apart from that, I also have a backlog going. <laughs> yep. One uh, gamer doesn't. I'd say which one I'm playing now, but it's pretty obscure, so everyone's gonna give you a confused look. I try it. Uh, well, Super Robot Wars is celebrating its 30th anniversary, so it drops Super Robot Wars 30 uh, in October because, when, you know, like Halloween totally screams giant robots. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> For some people it does, David. Okay. <laughs> so I've been playing that so far. Fair enough. And I just thought I'd mention it because it's technically the first licensed Robot Wars to actually be purchasable on Steam. It's actually pretty impressive. It is. <laughs> Though I think the DLC and the early purchase stuff might have been blocked, but I could be wrong on that. I never paid much attention to the Steam version, so yeah. there's that. Yeah. And that's my story. <laughs> yeah. I also picked up WarioWare. Oh, oh yeah. Get oh, it right. together. Right, I downloaded a demo from that too. Yeah. <laughs> my poor Switch. It has so many demos on it, doesn't it? It has a few, actually. Yeah. And you never touched any one of them. No. <laughs> oh my god, Project Triangle. I really should play that demo too. Before it comes out. I don't know, speaking of demos, remember, remember demo discs? I do remember demo discs for the PlayStation. Yep. Yeah. No, uh, demos were a really good idea. I don't know why not many games are doing them no. now. Like, I wholeheartedly agree. It's a lot easier to make a decision based on hands-on stuff rather than yeah. word of mouth or reviews or whatever. Exactly. Because some reviews I just don't trust. Exactly. Other reviews are like, okay, you didn't really tell me much about what the game's about. Yeah, it's like... You just kind of gave your own personal opinion on why you think this game sucks or why you think this game is great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, telling me it's the best of the series so far doesn't tell me much. No. Especially when it, if it wasn't a favorite, favorite of my favorite series to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, is it playable? Can I enjoy it? <laughs> is it actually anything that better or different than the previous entries? <laughs> At first, I was like, games that don't do demos are just too scared of people finding out how bad the game is. <laughs> I just feel like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, if people play the game, they'll never buy the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's actually a more technological reason for that. It does cost money, money to produce a demo. Oh, yeah. Because it's free, you're not getting anything in the return. You're hoping that it sells the game. Yeah. yeah. And it, again, could it could not harm you. So it's easier just to opt in. Yeah. Take a risk, <laughs> spender. Yeah. And, and it is a big risk. Yeah. No, other than that, um, WarioWare is pretty great. It may be too much of a cost at $75. Yeah, and that's probably not going to drop anytime soon since it's a first party game. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. It's fun, but I don't think it's $75 worth of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's, at least it's not as ridiculous as those like 120 Ultimate Edition things I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Those things are. You really gotta be a fan of that series or something. Yeah. yeah. And I guess I put $110 down on Smash Bros. Ultimate, technically. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're getting your money's worth out, but I know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So that's okay. Yeah, because you like, if they block edition, like, for me, it would be like the Deluxe Edition wrestling game where you get all of it, you pay for it, then you pay to go the additional DLC. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what most deluxe versions are. Yeah. They're just here's the DLC and maybe yeah. some a few extra little bonuses for buying this. Yeah, yeah. Like different um, something added to the soundtrack or something. Yeah. yeah. 
Let's just see if you were into that thing. I kind of wish I got the little extra version of Fighter's Z just so I didn't have to keep buying the Fighter Pass in every one. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I think we're done with Fighter Passes though. I think I just have two more left to get. Alright. And I don't really care. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> They're just from GT and I don't care. <laughs> Unless it was the dragon from GT. Yeah. No, who cares? I know oh. it's uh, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Super Baby. Isn't Gogeta the one with the red mane or something? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not that much flattery left. It was not. Then again, I remember Super Saiyan 3 had the chip. Huge foreheads, I believe. Yeah, the three huge foreheads and Raditz hair. <laughs> hey, remember Raditz? He's almost Super Saiyan 3 if he was blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? Sure. Was Super Saiyan anything after 1 any good? 2 was pretty good. Alright. So anything after Super Saiyan 2 was a dud. Kinda, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that feeling. <laughs> Three had drastic weaknesses and what ridiculous. Yep. Four was just more heat, primal looking, and. Not much else. Not much else. And of course, you can just say, well, it's bigger power boost, but that means nothing in terms of aesthetics. Yeah. And God mode was just. Rainbow colored hair. We're making our Saiyans look like troll dolls at this point. <laughs> okay. Which one was the blue hair one? That's God. Oh. I thought you said rainbow hair. Yeah, because there's a, also like rose, which is pink. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so I just say Super Saiyan God and which hair color you want? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and that makes a difference? Nope. <laughs> or that's the color. <laughs> It's still just God saying, it's just, I'm using blue because I like blue, I don't know. Blue's the primary color and then, like, someone just got pink here for some reason, I was like... Hey, did I ever, did I ever tell you my favorite color is blue? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, right? <laughs> I'm starting to see why they brought in stuff like Ultra Instinct. Yeah. Like... Saying Super Saiyan whatever got really ridiculous with the sounds of it. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right that form. Yeah. Because playing Super Saiyan again just makes it better somehow. Yeah. <laughs> the same Super Saiyan choice but God and all you're good to go. Yep. <laughs> I do love that Frieza calls out that name. It's like the most ridiculous name you've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Is the one who has a gold version of himself. Yeah, it's like this might be cliche, but at least it's simple. It's cold and freeze up. He likes to get it. Yeah, Freeza would be really bad still. <laughs> Freeza is bad at I don't know he's so short. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> One minute he's white and purple, then he's gold and purple. It's like, <laughs> you can totally see him from a couple of miles away. Yeah. I never liked the gold look in Frieza, I'm sorry. Yeah. It just looks dumb. It does. Also, where's my platinum himself? Exactly. <laughs> they haven't asked the real questions here. <laughs> <laughs> Frieza got a new look. Why can't Perfect Cell get a new look? Actually, he does have another form that just. They never released it, and it looks stupid. Okay. Cell X. Have you ever got a chance to look it up? Alright. They really emphasize on he's a bug oh. in that form. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he has a Forex. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> Fan fucking fantastic. <laughs> so absurd. <laughs> and he's big too. 
Look at my giant thorax. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Any other updates people should be aware of? So, for channel news, by now the Vegas steak should be out. We're hoping to have fun with that. Yeah, yeah not my go. <laughs> Casino shenanigans. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, not going to have to teach your kids how to gamble when you're younger. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Mega Man Legends is oh, yeah. our new project. That should be, the first episode should be out. Okay. Um, we're still running Night in the Woods and the Pokemon Adventure Series. <laughs> the first episode of Trauma Month should be out. <laughs> oh, yeah. And looking forward to the rest of this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why don't you ever join us on Just Watches, David? I don't know, because I have other stuff to do, or I just don't care. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at you're honest. <laughs> I'll try to make an appearance in the coming future. I'll say that. No promises, but <laughs> if it happens, it happens. Definitely be after Troll, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no? <laughs> oh, no worries. I fully agree to this, so I can't really <laughs> say anything else. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if this works. Yes. If anything, I am a man of my word. Yeah. <laughs> and by that time, it'll be Christmas. Mm. And we'll have a Christmas update ready for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you celebrate Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Happy whatever you celebrate, we'll just say that. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's all you can do at this point. Exactly. We'll get on a Christmas rant eventually, but <laughs> today's not that day. No, no it's, it's still November. Let's have some fun. And update for Kyle's stream if you're following him. Uh, he's doing Eco, the precursor to Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, well, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Basically, Horn Boy trying to take Shadow Princess out of a castle. <laughs> and it's basically escort game the game. Oh god. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Watching you will see. Yeah. I know, that's why I said that I'm playing too, man. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen the game. Oh, you're in for a surprise then. Yeah, so I'm watching this from Kyle's eyes, we're really. like. It's just as awkward as it looks, I'll just say that. Right yeah, now. I was like, oh, this already looks like I would not enjoy this. I'm glad I'm watching you suffer. Yeah. <laughs> then again, I felt the same thing when I played Shadow of the Colossus, so I don't know. I actually enjoyed Shadow of the Colossus, but... What? I actually enjoyed Shadow oh. of the Colossus. No, no, I just found the control so unwieldy. A little bit. I won't deny the control scheme could have been better. But at least it wasn't escorting someone around. Yeah. It was, go off into the distance, fight this Titan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hang on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> or is that save your girl? Well, I don't even remember what we did. <laughs> yeah. There was a horse all I that's all I remember. <laughs> there was a horse, there was these giant things and the shadow beast, I don't, that's all I remember. Yeah. Also, those two very vaguely connect. Yeah, I know. Like, if you... Like, I didn't know that that was a prequel to you. Yeah. And it does not scream Shadow of Colossus anything. No. So, you could have told me that it's just its own standalone game, and I would leave you. Exactly. Or if they made Last of Guard, you connect them in, a, in, in, in an equally ridiculous sort of meme as way. Yeah. Here's hoping, because... Otherwise, why? Yeah. <laughs> but with that, though, that'll be the episode. This is going to be a short update. Yeah. Alright. Until next time, I'm Devin. Billy, dig it. Devin, see you later. Have a good one, guys.